Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss utility software, application software that assist operating system in carrying out certain specialized tasks are called utility software. So let us look at some of the most popular utility softwares. First one is the antivirus. A virus can be defined as a malicious program that attaches itself to a host program and makes mul multiple copies of itself, slow slowing down, corrupting to or destroying the system. A software that assists the operating system in providing virus-free environment to the users is called antivirus operating antivirus utility software. So an antivirus scans the system for any virus and if detected gets rid of it and uh, by deleting or isolating it. It can detect any types of viruses like boot virus, trojan, worm, spyware, etc. When any external storage device like USB device is attached to the system, antivirus software scans it and gives an alert if a virus is detected. You can set up your system for periodic scans or scan whenever you feel the need. The co a combination of both the techniques is advisable to keep your systems virus free. So next one, file management tools. It is one of the utility software. As you know, the file management is an important function of operating systems as all data and instructions are stored in the computer in form of files. Utility software providing regular file management tasks like browse, search, update, preview, extra are called file management tools. Windows Explorer in Windows operating system, Google Desktop, Directory, directory Opus, Double Command, Commander, extra are examples of such tools. Next one, compression tools. Storage space is always at a premium in computer systems. So operating systems are always looking at ways to minimize amount of storage space taken by files. Compression tools are utilities that assist operating systems in shortening files so that they take less place. After compression files are stored in a different format and cannot be read or edited directly. It needs to be uncompressed before it can be accessed for further use. Some of the popular compression tools are WinRAR, PZIP and Unachiever Extra. This is all about the compression tools. Next one, Disk Cleanup. Disk Cleanup tools assist users in being Freeing up disk space. The software scans hard disks to find files that are no longer used and frees up space by deleting them. That is what disk cleanup. Next one, disk fragmenter. Disk fragmenter is a disk management utility that increases file access speeds by rearranging fragmented files on continuous locations. Large files are broken down into fragments and may be stored in non-contiguous locations if contiguous ones are not available. When such files are accessed by the user, accessing speed is slow due to fragmentation. Disk fragment utility scans the odd disk and tries to assemble file fragments so that they may be stored in contiguous locations. That is all about disk fragment. Next one, backup. Backup utility enables backing up of our files, folders, databases, or complete disks. Backups are taken so that data may be restored in case of data loss. Backup is a service provided by all operating systems. In standalone systems, backup may be taken in the same or different devices. Drive. In case of network systems, backup may be done on backup servers. This is all about utility software. So we are going to discuss. We discussed antivirus, file management tools, compression tools, disk cleanup, disk fragmentation, backup. So, this is, so friends, in next video we are going to discuss what is the open source software. Until then, thank you.